Hey students, in our last lecture of business research methods, we had discussed about sampling and sample. Now in this lecture, we will discuss something more about sampling. First thing that is important and we need to discuss is why sampling. We have discussed that we can go ahead with the census, that means study of the whole population. Then why should we go for sampling or why should we select a small sample, a small subset of the population for the study and for getting conclusions. So first important thing that needs to be considered for sampling is that it is cost, time and manpower saving. If we go for census, obviously we need to invest a lot of manpower, time and cost for that study. So sampling helps in saving that cost, time and manpower. Second important thing is good sample represents population. We understand that a good sample represents the whole population. So we can go ahead with sampling. It is easy to analyze as the data is less in comparison to the census. So it is easy to analyze that data. If it is a whole census, then the data will be a lot of uh, a lot of data will be there in uh, large quantity so it would be difficult to analyze that data uh, feeding that data in system will also be difficult so feeding will be difficult and analysis will also be difficult uh, next and the last thing is less probability of mistake or misinformation this is also an important aspect that if we go for census means study of the whole population then uh, there will be probability of mistake in collecting or uh, feeding or analyzing data while on the other hand if we go ahead with sampling the probability of these type of mistakes or misinformation will be less uh, misinformation means uh, maybe when we go for census means uh, the study of whole population some of the respondents give wrong information so that misinformation is could also be a problem if we go for census we can reduce this problem in sampling next topic to be discussed is characteristics of a good sample uh, which type of sample would be considered as a good sample this is a very important thing to understand first and the most important thing is appropriate size the sample should be of appropriate size that would be considered as a good sample so what is an appropriate size this is also important to understand if the population is too large the sample size will also be large this we'll discuss in detail in uh, our next lectures of sample size but uh, basic things needs to be understood understood that if the population is large in number the sample size also needs to be large comparatively and if the population is comparatively smaller the sample size can also be a smaller sample size just a small example if the population that we are going to study is having around uh, maybe thousand elements then a sample size of uh, around 150 200 or maybe 300 would be good enough but on the other hand if we want some conclusion on all 135 crore indians then a sample size of 200 300 400 will be not an appropriate sample size second characteristic that uh, a sample good sample should have is should represent population properly a good sample should represent population properly this means the sample should have uh, all the segments all the characteristics of the population uh, just an example if our population has 50 percent male and 50 percent females then while collecting sample we collect data from only 10 percent males and 90 percent females then this does not represent population properly if we are collecting sample from the whole uh, if we are conducting a study to conclude something for the whole country india then collecting sample from up only will not work 
that sample would not represent population properly and that sample would not have all the characteristics of the whole population next important thing is the sample should, should be unbiased it should not be suffering from researchers bias if researcher sees someone if if a researcher is conducting a study on individuals belonging to high income group then a researcher should not decide that who are the persons belonging to high income group just by seeing them just by seeing their clothes just by seeing their looks or something like that so that would be an biased sample so rather than going for just our own judgment we may use some data to find out who are the individuals belonging to high income group and then we should go ahead with sampling from that data we should not uh, just go for or researcher just should not go for his or her own opinion or judgment next is should be collected using suitable sampling technique we'll discuss some sampling techniques in our next lectures but it is very important to understand that the sample should be collected using suitable sampling techniques so, uh, different sampling techniques are suitable for different types of studies so uh, the sample collected by using a suitable sampling technique depending on the study is a good will be a good sample we'll discuss types of uh, sampling techniques in some uh, next lectures the sample should have willingness and capability to respond this is also another very important factor all those individuals that we are uh, collecting data from should have willingness and capability to respond if not those individuals may respond uh, may give wrong information or may give no information so both the things would uh, negatively influence our study and conclusions so they should have the information and they should have willingness to share that information next thing that we would be discussing is sample size sample size and proper sampling plan is important as it decides the accuracy of the result i have discussed that sample size is very important and sampling plan or sampling technique is also very important a good sample must represent all types of people in the population and in the same ratio as they are present in the population as i had discussed in my example that if there are 50% males and 50% females in a population then the sample should also represent both the segments in the similar proportion sample size must be different for different types of researches sample size depends on the following factors so sample size could be different for different types of researches i have discussed that uh, uh, an academic research may have a different sample size a research that is uh, that has more or broader implications may have a different sample size sample size depends on the following factors types of problem or opportunity as i have discussed that uh, which type of problem is there if the problem or opportunity is uh, uh, more important has uh, broad implications then the sample size would be large otherwise it could be small method of data collection interview or questionnaire if we are collecting data through interviews which are uh, subjective in nature sample size could be smaller if we are using questionnaires the sample size could be large in size type of researcher i have discussed type of researcher it includes uh, academic researches or other types of researches availability of sample and its cost so depending on the cost of uh, collecting samples hmm. so availability of sample and cost are also very important things to consider if the cost definitely if we are going for larger sample size the cost would be higher if uh, we don't have budget we need to uh, anyhow manage with the smaller sample size i have discussed total population is an important factor 
if the population is large the sample size needs to be large and last is time if we have more time we can go ahead with the larger or adequate sample size if it is less then we need to anyhow manage with the smaller sample size uh, this is a graphical example of the importance of sample size and appropriate sampling for any study the first picture that photograph one we are seeing may be we say it is a population so uh, if we want to know this is a picture of a person so if we see this picture of this person we can easily identify we can easily uh, determine or analyze the looks of this person the characteristics uh, just visual characteristics of this person so this is photograph one could be considered as the population photograph two could be considered as a sample but the very important thing to be understood is the small sample sizes or different samples have been taken from throughout the picture so from throughout the picture there are some white spots from where we can uh, say that the sample has been or data has not been collected and the rest uh, black spots or shaded spots are the areas from where data has been collected so this is this could be said to be a appropriate sample size as well as sampling technique because this gives an idea of the looks of the person Photograph 3 is uh, another sampling. The sampling plan is correct, but the sample size is comparatively smaller. So the picture is less clear. So if we go ahead with a smaller sample size, the but the planning plan, sampling plan is correct. The picture could be less clear, but still may work on that. And the fourth photograph 4 is another uh, picture from in which we have collected sample from throughout the picture or you may say throughout the population but the sample size is even smaller so this gives less clear picture so we can see or we can uh, see or say that from population that is photograph 1 to photograph 4 the picture goes on getting less clear it means uh, good sample size helps to get a good picture La and the rightmost picture that has just one eye and hair and a half of forehead of the person or picture is an example of uh, taking data from the whole population but from one side only so this is this could be an example of inappropriate sampling plan we have not collected data from the whole population we have collected data from one portion of the population and maybe we have taken that a lot of data that is why it is a complete uh, with a picture without uh, any dots so we have taken data from one portion or one part of the picture and we have collected data from all the individuals though sampling size is adequate but the sampling plan is wrong we have not collected data we have not collected uh, the picture we have not seen the whole picture we have just taken the data from one side one area so this data is the is you may say is the worst data that is even worse than photograph 4 because the sample size could be a good one but sampling plan is wrong so data has not been collected throughout the picture so the picture is not clear we cannot say anything about the looks of this person by seeing this picture so this is all about uh, sampling plan or sampling size we will discuss more in our next lecture thank you